In this video, we would like to show you how the OpenVM Microsoft Add-in for Visio works. To test it, we open a new file in Visio, for example, a workflow. We add content to the file. And we save it. Clicking on the OpenKM tab, we can see the features available. In configuration, we can set the language and the data that we will let connection between Visio and OpenKM. The Add Metadata option will let add property groups to the files. Each time that a user uploads a new file or a new version, the OpenKM add-in for Visio we will pop the question. Now, let's upload the file to OpenKM. It displays a window from which we can choose where we want to save the file. This time, we will take the opportunity to create a new folder. Next, we click in the Upload button and OpenKM gives us the option to add metadata to the file. Let's choose Consulting Metadata Group and fill the blanks. If we want, we can add more metadata. Now we access to the document management system. As we can see, there is the Visio Projects folder that we just have created, and inside we find the Visio file. The OpenKM add-in lets edit files from our desktop that are already stored in OpenKM. We click in the Edit button that gives us the option to choose the file that we want to edit. We select the Visio file and we click on Edit. The file is open with the suitable application. We can check that the Check In and Check Out options are now available. Let's do some changes in the document to test the edit mode. If we want to upload this new version, we select the check-in option. Otherwise, we can click in Cancel. This time, we upload a new version. We confirm our intention of updating the file. And we can see that in this case, OpenKM suggests to include a comment. This can be voluntarily or mandatory. Besides, OpenKM gives us the opportunity to add more metadata. In this case, we won't add any other property group. The OpenKM Microsoft Add-in for Visio informs us that the new version has been uploaded successfully. To check it, we enter in OpenKM. We update, and as we can see, the size of the file has increased, so the version number. We can execute more tasks from the contextual menu, for instance, download it. Here, we can see all the changes performed during the test. For more information, don't hesitate to contact us via OpenKM.com, Facebook or Twitter.